Well, there was something in Latin up on the wall. What did it say? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the soul of the performant lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. I cannot risk you inadvertently helping my enemies. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. What exactly do you mean? I am a professional. You will feel no pain. Oh, man. You're going to kill me? Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And if these choose the tripod... A modern-day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In Occidenta Sita Est in Ora Mundi. The island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. I'd like your opinion on a medieval manuscript. Vraiment? Do you have it with you? No, it's too fragile. And besides, there are certain people who'd stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Intriguing. Uh, do you have a copy of the text? There isn't much. Only a few Latin phrases. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell me one thing. What does the image of two men riding on the same horse suggest to you? The Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that for myself.
The manuscript is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come round and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should check with her first. A female friend? Yeah, she's a woman. Maybe it was my imagination, but I noticed a predatory look in his eye. Suddenly, this friendly historian had turned into the big bad wolf. This friend who has the manuscript? Ah, uh, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. She lives at 361 Rue Jarry. Ah, I know it well. I'll drop by just as soon as I can. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Hey, Nico. Oh, hi. Come in. Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the knight's crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fun, Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Well, we oui, of course. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in their thousands on their way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome.
My horse has stopped. Yeah? See, my horse never stops. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you! I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. Madre Dios, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they've planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... You'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. Thank you. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for the day Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. But do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. 
Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I feed you to the dogs. Well, Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dog? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Lopez, unlock the door, Popavo. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it, a summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oh. Come with me. Hey, Senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors. But I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. Wow, this is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place for the Devas Concellos Templars. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come here at least once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? By all means. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey, it's a checkerboard. May I ask you something? You may ask. You certainly know your history. What's your opinion of the Templar, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. You are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the Hospitallers or the brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. Okay, thanks. Not at all. The lectern top had a pattern of glass squares on it. Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle. Would you tell me something? Uh, what do you want to know? What's the story with the glass chessboard? Glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern, purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary.
Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good long run, but it ain't here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chess set! Yes! The old chess set! Oh, damn the game! Now hurry! Am I? This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? Si, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop envied us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Oh, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady... Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Stobart's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, Senor. It fits, Senor Stobart. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes.
Senor Stobart, look! What is that? It's not... It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stobart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos. Missing for almost 700 years. Wow! Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, go ahead. Live a little. Are you sure? This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice. But there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar's secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? The Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know, it is very tarnished. With your permission, I, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Hey! A Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Let me see. M, C, 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 X, I, V. That's 1314. Hello again, Father. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is 
but it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wood tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Psalms 32.7, John 4.11. Corinthians 1, 4, 5, and just one more, Psalms 22, 21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Thank you.